Welcome to my garage. This is where the magic happens. Basically what I'm gonna wrap out about is at the Bondi Bolarama, we had Pedro Barros, this young kid from Brazil, going there and absolutely just tearing house. Feels very good to win it three times in a row, but especially to be here again and to be with my friends and to have the fun that I always have in this place. If you don't know who Pedro Barros is, basically just go online, Google his name, and you will see one of the most aggressive pool park skate kids ever. This kid goes absolutely massive, he goes huge, and uh, basically does it without any pads on usually. What is it about the Brazilians that, you know, brings this greatness? On the surf side of things, you've got Gabriel Medina, who a lot of people are saying could be the first Brazilian world champion from surfing. Gabe Medina in the blue jersey, pulling into the barrel. And out! Again, in the barrel. Just based on how he performs in heats and like the tricks that this kid does and throws down on a whim, it's unbelievable. Check, check. And on the other side, you got a guy like Pedro Barros, who's unbelievable to watch skateboard. How are these kids that are so young, so good, and basically when they come from nothing? You know, a lot of these kids come from places where there isn't really very much support for these sports. And I'm gonna say that's the key right there, because you need to come up, you need to come up tough. You watch a guy like Pedro Barros skateboard, you talk about someone who wants it bad, this kid just pushes so absolutely hard. So I'm just going to say it right now, Pedro Barros is one of my favorite people to watch skating. Gabriel Medina, one of my favorite people to watch surfing. Why isn't there any Brazilian snowboards? Well, there's not really any mountains in Brazil, but I'll tell you what, you get these guys on snow, it's going to be the same thing.